Reducing the Risk of Surgical Site Infections Action Plan Discovery, Topic and Practice Issue Reducing the Risk of Surgical Site Infections, SSIs, has been chosen as the topic for this task. Nurses play a critical role in the care of patients after surgery, and thus they contribute significantly to care outcomes. Therefore, the involvement of nurses in ensuring the well-being of patients after surgery underscores the nursing practice issue as related to this topic. The Rationale for the Topic Selection SSI is one of the hospital-acquired infections, HIAs, leading causes of mortality and morbidity among hospitalized patients. After surgery, patients are placed under the care of nurses, and thus this problem could be addressed by training nurses on how to prevent such infections, which underscores the scope of this issue. Summary Evidence to Support the Need for a Change The Practice Problem and the PICO Question SSIs are common occurrences, and they are associated with increased cases of patient mortality and morbidity and other consequences such as increased cost of care. However, nurses could minimize SSIs by adhering to best practices during care provision. Using a standardized sepsis bundle would prevent SSIs significantly. Therefore, the PICO question for this task is, in patients that have undergone surgery, P, how does the use of a standardized sepsis bundle, I, as compared to general care practices, C, affect patient outcomes, O, in five months, T. The main findings from the systematic review and the strength of the evidence. Patient-centered interventions, such as using a standardized sepsis bundle, would play an important role in the prevention and minimization of SSIs. The evidence presented in the article is strong because an exhaustive search of the literature was conducted using major healthcare databases, including CINAHL, Medline, and Cochrane Library databases, PubMed, and ProQuest. 23 articles were selected from 559 articles, which means they were relevant to the study objective, hence the strength of the evidence. Evidence-Based Solutions for the Trial Project The introduction of a standardized sepsis bundle would be considered an evidence-based solution to the problem of SSIs. Action Plan Care Standards, Practice Guidelines or protocols to support the intervention planning. Postoperative care protocols require strict adherence to best practices to improve the quality of care and patient outcomes and decrease the length of stay. This practice guideline and protocol will be used in the introduction of the proposed change in postoperative care. Stakeholders and their roles and responsibilities in the change process. Hospital management. The management will be used to approve and support the implementation of the standardized sepsis bundle in postoperative care. Nurses Nurses are in direct contact with patients, and thus they will be the key players in this change process because they will be the implementers. The nursing role in the change process My nursing role in the change process is to drive the process from the beginning to completion. As an advocate, I will educate my colleagues on the need for using the proposed intervention plan. Stakeholders by position titles Nurse Manager The nurse manager will be in charge of supervising the implementation of the change process. Chief Nursing Executive, CNE A CNE will act as a link between the management and the team implementing the change process. The nurse manager will report directly to him or her. Staff Nurses Staff nurses will drive the change process by implementing the use of a standardized sepsis bundle in postoperative care. Type of cost analysis needed prior to a trial Cost analysis before a trial will consider that the eight staff nurses will require training. Training materials such as videos, charts, and booklets will be bought. Allowances will also be paid to the participants. All these factors will be considered in the cost analysis. Implementation The process for gaining permission to plan and begin a trial. The nurse manager will write to the CNE on the proposed change detailing all involved aspects together with the expected care benefits to patients. The CNE will contact the management for approval to initiate the change process. 
the plan for educating the staff about the change process trial. The participating nurses will be sensitized to the need to use the proposed intervention plan as a way of preventing and minimizing SSIs. After creating awareness, training will be conducted to show the involved nurses how to use the sepsis bundle. The Implementation Timeline for the Change Process Creating awareness among participating nurses, 7 days. Training the participants on how to use the sepsis bundle, 7 days. Implementation of the change process, monitoring and evaluation, for months. Evaluating the entire process to draw conclusions, 7 days. The measurable outcomes based on the PICO. Intervention, I, adherence to using the standardized sepsis bundle by the participating nurses will be monitored. Outcome, O, patient outcomes, such as the length of stay, occurrence of SSIs, and patient satisfaction, will be noted. Time, T, the process will run for five months after the implementation date. Recording during the pilot change process. Cases involving the use of the sepsis bundle will be noted on paper and backed with soft copies. Excel sheet forms will be ideal for this task. Resources available to staff during the change pilot. The standardized sepsis bundle will be available to the participating nurses. Meetings of certain stakeholders throughout the trial. The team will meet once per week to assess the progress and make changes where necessary. Evaluation Reporting the outcomes of the trial Frequency tables will be used to compare patient outcomes among nurses using the intervention and the control group using the normal hospital guidelines. The next steps for the use of the change process information After showing that a standardized sepsis bundle improves care outcomes by preventing and minimizing SSIs, a proposal will be made to the management to consider adopting the change process in the hospital.